growth of the, in the report department with Carson being here in year two? So honestly, just as like an offense, like we kind of just taking it one day uh, at a time, you know, uh, actually all like uh, the quarterbacks, like they all like rotate in. So like they all just kind of, all of them are taking like that step forward, like that uh, leadership role. And uh, we kind of just growing as an offense day in and day out, you know, just stacking days, honestly. Hey, Dallas, what are some of the biggest ways now being in the second year in an offensive system like you are? How is that going to impact your, your performance you think, on the field this fall? Uh, honestly, just like kind of like a tight, like a pro, you just kind of start from like day one all over again. You just start from scratch and you just kind of start over. You know, you can't get bored uh, with the process. You can't get bored with like doing it over and over and over again. Uh, you know, the separation is in the preparation. That's what uh, we say. So it's just like another go around with the same goal and yeah. Dom, what do you feel like Coley brings to this offense and just what he's capable of doing? Uh, so Coley came in, we kind of welcomed him with like uh, open arms. We feel like uh, he's a part of the Georgia family. I honestly didn't know that he was here before and, and came back. Um, I would say that he brings great energy, just like all the coaches do on a, a daily basis. And uh, he just wants us to, to be the best version that we can of ourselves. So. Yeah, just what have you seen out of London Humphreys this fall, and especially, you know, you transferring from Missouri last year, him transferring from Vanderbilt. How much have you tried to help him as he sort of gets acclimated to what you guys do here? Uh, I kind of know where London was due to the fact that I uh, transferred. I kind of see, like, a little bit of myself in him. But um, I would say just uh, all the guys just kind of working uh, together. We all be getting in on our playbook, like helping, like helping each other out. Cause uh, we never know like where each other may be, so we all just be having like group like study sessions, and all of us just growing on the field, off the field, and we just getting better day in day out. Now, how would you how would you describe yourself as a receiver? If somebody had never seen you play in this, what type of receiver you are? What, what would you say? So, I just say humble. I don't really uh, try to get off too much into like the what ifs or like just like about myself you know I'm, I'm really like a team guy i don't really care too much about like what i do as long as like we win it as a team and like everybody doing their part that's all i really care about so i honestly i really just say humble can i follow up and ask you about your special team's contributions and how you approach that um i didn't really play special teams until like i got here i didn't really know the importance of it until like the staff and the team actually pointed it out, and since then uh, I made a push to like try to get everybody on special team somehow, some way, because that's how like they can help the team. I enjoy it. Uh, I didn't know how to do it at first, but now I do, so um, I enjoy it. Don, how have you seen Kobe Young fit in on this offense and just what he brings? So we just been bringing Kobe along. He been growing just like the. Uh, rest of the guys, new and young, uh, we all taking steps together. So um, I feel like, you know, when it comes time for like game time, then that, yeah, I just have to see, you know, I can't really pinpoint like who here and who where, you know. We competing every day, day in and day out. So we just getting better. We just trying to strive, honestly. Yeah, Dom, how have you helped all the transfer receivers sort of learn the playbook and things like that as a, as a guy who was in the same shoes a year ago? Uh, it wasn't honestly just me. It was really like a team thing. Like we would like literally like as a team, after practice, sit down, watch film, and all of us go over our goods, our bads, our ups and our downs. Uh, cause like if you can't take constructive criticism from like your own teammates, then you won't be able to take it from anybody. So we as a team help each other. We don't you know nag on each other, get on each other. We just try to help each other out. We try to help each other grow. So that's probably like the big thing. Like group. I can't think what's the word. Yeah, just group help for a uh, different word. Where, when you look at this receiver room, where do you feel like you guys grew the most during preseason practice? And are are there any individuals that stood out in particular? I would just say all of us grew uh, more comfortable with the playbook, understanding uh, the scheme, and not just where and not just looking at where you are on on the field, but having like conceptual learning, learning the whole play instead of just knowing like your position because you might not be in that position at a different time. We might call it a different formation or something. You might be in a, a different role. So just biggest thing I say as a whole offense is like just having interchangeable parts 
people being able to switch to different positions and not be like no balance or no off fall. Don, right, right or wrong, receivers sometimes, uh, you know, get a reputation for, for being prima donnas and just wanting to catch the ball. But, but you're a guy that connected quickly with Kirby Smart with his blue collar attitude. Where, where does that come from for you to be the, a football player first and, and then the, making the highlight play second? Oh, uh, that's just kind of how I've been. That's kind of how I was raised, uh, honestly. Just kind of like the football I played uh, growing up. Um, you don't really have too much individual success without team success. So what I mean by that, like I could have a 2,000 yard, a 2,000 receiving yard uh, season, and we go uh, three and seven. But with like team success comes individual success. But as long as like we winning and I can help the man next to me, or he can help me and we can help each other grow together on and off the field, I feel like that's bigger than football. So I feel like that's where the team, it's really our standard, honestly. So connection. <laughs> Don, I want to ask you about a guy on the other side of the football. I'm sure you match up with Jonah Aguero quite often. Uh, what areas of growth and what areas of improvement have you seen him make this offseason? Uh, I say, as far as it's like confidence, swag, also understanding like the scheme and conceptual learning. I feel like that the defense does the same thing that the offense do. We just switch. So even with like those younger guys and the older guys coming in, being able to be interchangeable parts and help out one another, I feel like that's gonna make like our whole team just more versatile. So just everybody helping everybody, trying to achieve the big goal. So yeah. What are you expecting from uh, this opening opponent, Clemson, uh, right out of the gate, playing a, a program of that caliber? Uh, we actually have not started on Clemson yet, so I honestly, I don't know. I just heard they're a good team. They're, uh, What's the head coach name? Dabo Sweeney. Uh, I know that they're led by Dabo Sweeney. He's a great guy, a uh, great coach. They have a great team. And um, I just can't wait to uh, play them. You know, that's a good opponent. But as far as Clemson, like, we have a starter on them. Uh, you talk about depth coach by coach Coley now, the adjustment to that, and what that's going on. Uh, <laughs> honestly, there's really, like, no difference between him and Coach B -Mac. Um They both want the same standard. They both uh, they both want what's best for you. They both fit into our uh, program great. You know, there are changes that have to be made just within the world. And, you know, um, he took the job and Coach Cody came in. There's really been no, like, shift. Um, I would say, really, like, he came in at a great time helping us out. And um, I heard, I talked to Coach B back on the uh, daily and see how, and see how he doing. He doing good. So, honestly, it's, Really like uh, the same also with Coach Coley being here, so you already like knew the standard, stuff like that. So I don't really say it was a change. It was kind of just like interchangeable parts. Yeah, uh, Ellis Robinson, Georgia freshman cornerback, what have you seen out of him so far and how is he progressing in his time here at Georgia? Uh, confidence, you no know, on the field swag, kind of just like all the young books, honestly. Um, you know, it can be different being like new here. That goes for anybody, old, new, transfer. Just got here, that go for uh, anybody. It takes a little time to get uh, adjusted. That's what it was uh, for me. I just seen everybody kind of just take those strides. You know, people only see what we do on a Saturday. They don't, what we, they don't see what we do Monday through Friday. So all of us are just growing, you know, trying to help each other. And just can't wait for the first game. Can, can you give us some insight into some of those off-season workouts as far as like how, how do they come about? Do you have a schedule way in advance? Did Carson ever just call you and say, let's go play catch? And, and what about your relationship with Carson? Can you share? As far as like off-season, you don't really never know what to expect. So you just got to come in like with your jaw set. And um, really, really, if like Carson or any other uh, quarterbacks hit me up, if anybody on the team uh, hit me up, honestly, um, I come, you know, work with them whether it be catches with the quarterbacks, whether it be footwork with the wide receivers, release work with the DBs. I might come in on, on my off day with a defensive player and talk to him about coverages. Just see what how like he see how see how his mind working from a defensive standpoint, and vice versa with me. So basically everybody just serving everybody, trying to help each other get better. So Coach Smart talked about Cole and, and what he's done during fall camp. What has that to you, and what do you feel like Cole Spear brings to the receiver? Uh, I would say 
uh, experience. Cole was a guy that uh, helped me when I first got here. I'd probably say like the biggest thing I say about like our team in general, like if somebody new comes in, like we welcome them with open arms. Like it's not really like a competition. Like, hey, I'm trying to be in front of him. Like we all trying to service each other, help each other. Cause it could be a time that we all could be out there at the same time. And you know, you might need that guy. You might not know like what's going on at the time. You might need help with a play. And once you help each other, like that just builds that uh, connection with us about moving forward. And I feel like that's a big thing that like separates us from other teams is our connection. What's been your impressions of uh, Daniel Harris and, and Julio uh, you know, as they uh, compete back there? Um. Those are just two like great guys. They compete with each other on a day in, day out. Um, they push the older guys more so as also the uh, the younger guys. Just helping everybody uh, get better. I can't wait to see, you know, the first game. So I just kind of got to wait for the first game. Honestly. So, okay. Uh, what kind of impression has Michael Jackson made on you this offseason? You know, Mike Jack actually don't talk. Um, <laughs> He's a kind of like to like himself guy, but uh, basically just like along with the uh, basically like along with the other new guys, just becoming like adaptive to the uh, playbook, being interchangeable, uh, wants to learn, just like all of the new guys, all of the transfers, and I just feel like um, you know on a daily basis, everybody just keep growing and just keep striving, so we all moving in the right direction. So positive. Any more questions for Don? Okay, Dom, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Dominic. No problem.